Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Di and today I am sharing with you all of the fragrances I have warmed in my home over the last week. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, so most of what you'll hear me talk about today can be found on my website, which is linked down in the description box below. So I did get to a few different vendors this week, so that's great. I did try out some stuff that I recently hauled as well, so super excited to do that. So let's jump into it. First off, I decided to try again with my Magical Frosted Forest kind of, not dupe, but to try to get close to that because Yankee Candles Magical Frosted Forest is my favorite Christmas fragrance. I am so afraid that they're never going to bring it back. So I'm trying to find something that is close just in case. Um, and so I've been playing around with a bunch of different fragrances. So this week I tried one cube of iced pine. Actually there was one and a half cubes in here. This is a minty pine fragrance. I didn't think I really enjoyed this one, to be honest. <laughs> it is in the current catalog. They did bring it back this year. Um, but the more that I warm it, the more I am drawn to it. So yes, I tried this one because it is more of a basic pine fragrance. And then I threw in a cube of eucalyptus wreath. This is very, like a sweet eucalyptus. I really, really like this one. It is in my club. It is also, or it was in my club. It is in the current ca current catalog right now. I threw in a cube of pineapple pucker. So this was the reason why I haven't been able to try one of these combos for a while is because I had run out of this. So I do have a nice stash now. I did put it in my club. This is just a pure pineapple fragrance and it is very reminiscent to me of when I used to work in the soap and candle making factory back in Hawaii, this smells almost exactly, if not exactly, like the pineapple oil that we used to use. So I did a cube of that. And then I tried a cube of coastal strawberry. This one I got from the flash sale that was earlier this year, like in January or something like that. And then um, I also picked up another bar in the 10 bar bundle during the most recent flash sale. This is a strawberry with like a green-ish note. Funny thing, I don't pick up the plasticky smell that I was getting or that I do get on sugared strawberry. So sugared strawberry to me smells very much like a toy strawberry. This I'm not getting that at all which is good, but I haven't actually melted this one on its own yet. I only have tried it in this blend so far, so I still don't know what I think on that one, but on cold sniff, I do enjoy that I'm not getting that plasticky smell, so I'm looking forward to seeing what this one is like for me um, on its own. And then the last cube I threw in was a cube of raspberry lollipop. This was from the Easter collection. This is a sweet raspberry fragrance. To me, on this, on its own, this one does seem like it's missing something. It's like not as full of raspberry fragrance as I would like. But I'm still deciding on this one. I do get a little bit of plasticky smell on this. For me, I think a lot of berry fragrances do come with that plasticky smell to me. That's just how my nose reads berry fragrances. So yeah, I threw in um, a cube of that. So there were quite a few cubes in the warmer that day, um, but that's just because Magical Frosted Forest has a lot of scent notes in there. And this isn't even like half of the scent notes that they offer in that blend, but I enjoyed this one. Um, I think I enjoyed my previous blend a little more though. So this is not the final, but I think for sure these three are the ones that I need to use. So I am out of Ice Pine. I do need to make a purchase. So I used the last one and a half cubes that I had. And then I did actually end up finishing this one as well. Um, but that one was in my club, so I do have a couple more bars of that. So 
I need to pick up some more iced pine before I can do any more experiments with that. But in the smaller bathroom, we decided to go ahead and do a cube of Vitamin S Soothe. This was from the Vitamin Collection earlier this year. This one is in my club. It's very aquatic, and I really, really like this one. It's very fresh, too. So, yes, that's the Vitamin S Soothe. In the open concept area, I tried one of my pink zebra sprinkles, and this one was Aloha Flower. Um, it goes this way. <laughs> so this one says, Fresh Plumeria and Frangipani embraced by Bright Mandarin and Smooth Island Wood. So this one has these really light pink sprinkles. Pink Zebra Wax comes in these sprinkles. They don't come in these glass jars anymore. They're moving to like polypropylene uh, bags. Uh, but I really love this fragrance. I did pick up a carton on their like one week sale. Um, the cartons were the very last day of the sale. So I did pick up a carton of this. I was thinking about picking up one more, but their catalog switched over earlier than Sensi's. So I wasn't able to. And so, yeah, at least I have a carton. I love this fragrance. This smells exactly like the Plumeria perfume that you can get if you go to Hawaii and like go to Don Quixote's. They usually sell the um, Hawaiian bath and body products there. And every time I go home, I do pick up some. I don't usually gravitate towards the Plumeria just because I am more of a peacock tuberose um, fragrance purchaser. <laughs> Um, but now that I've smelled this, I may pick up some Plumeria the next time I go home because I really, really enjoyed this one. I did four uh, powdered drink mix scoops instead of pouring it into the cap. Pink Zebra says three capfuls is good, but I did those that, you know, throwaway plastic drink mix scoop that you'll get when you buy a powdered drink mix in bulk. I did four of those scoops in my classic curve and it just wasn't heating it up enough um, the wax load was just too much for the classic curve that day so what I did was I transferred it to a silicone cup I foil lined my candle crock and I put the silicone cup in the candle crock and it worked marvelously oh the fragrance was so good I really really enjoyed this one so I think I have about two more uses of this before I have to open my carton, but I really, really enjoyed that. If you're interested in checking out Pink Zebra, I do have a party open. So I don't sell Pink Zebra, but I am hosting a party to hopefully get some rewards that I can cash in for my birthday in September. Um, so if you'd like to support my party um, and check out Pink Zebra, their fall collection is out right now, so you can check out all of the fragrances they have available. I'll link my party link down in the description box below. So then, this past Friday, I posted my first Sassy Girl Aroma Haul, so I wanted to really use some of them right away. Um, and so that's what I did. I'll link my Sassy Girl Aroma Haul down in the description box below also in case you missed it. But I started off with Maybe Babe. This is a fruity floral blend of lemon, mandarin, cyclamen, geranium, jasmine, and musk. So this one I did in the master bath. I did two of these little chocolate bar cubes in the Cinderella warmer. And I really, really like this one, but the jasmine on this is very, very powdery. So if you do not like powdery florals, definitely don't go for this one. Um, even for me, the powder was almost too much. But I actually really enjoyed this one in the bathroom, especially because of that powdery note. It worked really well. And so I'm looking forward to experimenting more with this. But Two Cubes did a great job in the Cinderella Mini Warmer. That is a ceramic mini warmer. And so, yes, I really, really enjoyed that one. Then in the open concept area, I did four cubes of the watermelon pop. So this is a tropical twist, pretty pink sugar, 
pear blossoms and juicy watermelon. This one, I started off with two cubes in my open concept area in the classic curve warmer and there just wasn't enough throw. And so I again moved it to my candle crock, added two more cubes and that worked wonders. So I really, really love this one. I definitely think that's a repurchase for me and one that I'd use more often than the maybe babe because florals, I tend to only use florals that my whole family enjoys <laughs> in the open concept areas and I think for how powdery that maybe babe is it's probably going to be a my bedroom and bathrooms type of fragrance um, but yes the next day in the smaller bathroom I did two cubes of mirror maze I did only use one and then I was like the wax pool looks really small uh, I'll just throw in another one. <laughs> I normally only use one Scentsy Cube in that warmer, and that is a glass uh, mini warmer. But this one is Sweet Watermelon, Lemon Lime Fizzy Pop, and Sugary Cotton Candy, and I love this one. This one was so good. It threw great also. That Fizzy Pop is really strong, but I really love this one, like I said. So... This one, not only for me, the color is great, but the smell was awesome as well. That would definitely be a repurchase for me as well. So that was Mirror Maze. So the next day in the open concept area, I wanted to try again with one of my magical Frosted Forest kind of blends. And so I did two scoops or three scoops of Pink Zebra's Everyday Pine. So that's Everyday Pine. This says notes of fresh pine mixed with a little eucalyptus for all year round. So this is actually not in their current catalog. I was really surprised that they pulled it uh, because it's Everyday Pine. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a sweeter pine with like a sweet eucalyptus. I really, really like this one. So I use, like I said, three scoops of these sprinkles. Um, again, it's those plastic powder drink mix scoops. Three scoops of that. I did a cube of pineapple pucker, which we talked about already. And then I did a cube of sun ripened berry. So this one was definitely less things because the everyday pine had the pine and eucalyptus and then sun ripened berry has the strawberry raspberry note and then pineapple pucker because I just need pineapple pucker <laughs> so sun ripened berry was the January scent of the month I think um, this smells like a raspberry bubblegum that I used to chew when I was growing up and I really think it was bubblicious I really think it was bubblicious but I can't remember what it was called but yes, I actually missed the boat on putting this one in my club. So I have stocked up a little bit from in the clearance. I really, really enjoyed this one. So yes, I actually liked this combo better than the one that I had done previously in the week. So I definitely think I'll be doing this combo again. Um, but this still like isn't it. It's definitely close the closest that I've gotten so I don't know if I want to try again I think what I'm going to do is try again though with the pineapple pucker sweet sun ripened berry eucalyptus wreath and ice pine because the first time I had done it I did ice pine with no I had done icicles and evergreens I think I can't remember I've done so many of these but it just wasn't it but I know there was one component that I did different um, the last time I used the ice pine or the very first time I did and so I need to try this one again with the second um, combo that I tried because yeah <laughs> you know what I mean right <laughs> I did too many experiments with that one <laughs> 
So the next day in the, or not even the next day, later on um, in the master bath, I decided to try another combo and I had seen uh, Melted Michelle's, her weekly wax meltdown video from last week. She had melted a Bath and Body Works candle in her candle crock and it was like nectarine and fresh linen or something like that. And if you watched my What I've Been Warming video last week, I had talked about another like citrus and like fresh laundry type blend um, that I had tried. And just so that you know, I did actually go on to the pre-order for Teddy Bees today and I was able to get a um, souffle cup, I think that's what they call it, of her Satsumas and fresh linen or something like that. It was the one that I had based my blend on from last week. So I was able to get one, thankfully. So I did order a couple other things to try. So I'm looking forward to that, but I'm glad to have gotten that one because that one was one in particular that I really wanted to try. And so, yes, I braved the stress of the Hunger Games ordering and I actually was able to get through checkout with one in my cart. <laughs> so anyway, I was watching Melted Michelle. She had melted this candle and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that too. Um, not that I knew exactly what to use but it was nectarine and so I had ruby nectarine this was the scent of the month in May I think it was May the months are all like colliding right now this is one that I've kind of been on the fence about I am learning to love it I'm learning to love it I am warming up to it I think that's probably the better phrase to me, the first time I melted this, it just smelled like a very sweet apple. Now I'm starting to get more of the like flavors, fragrances. And I actually am really starting to enjoy this bar. So I'm glad that I decided to put it back in my club. Um, but yes, so I did Ruby Nectarine and I did Clean Breeze. So one cube to one cube. And this is just fresh laundry detergent. At least that's what it smells like to me like your standard powdered laundry detergent you know the kind that maybe you buy in bulk at like sam's club or whatever um so i did one cube of each of these and i actually really enjoyed this one as well the clean breeze i actually ended up only doing half a cube i think because the last time i did one of these combos my daughter could really only smell the clean breeze and so i thought well maybe i'll just cut down the clean breeze because this one is pretty strong so I did half a cube and then I did a full cube of this and it ended up being that all I could smell was this um, on the first day. On the second day I could smell more of this but it was pretty much mostly predominantly this. So I think the next time I try this and I will try it again because I did enjoy it. I'll do one cube of each and see how that goes. But I'm starting to really notice that I enjoy fruity laundry fragrances so yes I really enjoyed that one <laughs> so the next day in the open concept area I wanted to try out another one of the bars that I have in my club because it's one that I was really unsure of keeping in the club and that was Slytherin this is from the Harry Potter collection it's cunning and ambition and I believe this one has some kind of like tree note and blackberry and I did not enjoy this one. It was okay the first time I melted it, but when I melted it again, I really got a plasticky note. And I don't know why, because the first time I melted it, um, the first time I even opened the clam, I didn't get that plasticky note. But now that it's been sitting for a while, I am getting a plasticky note. And the tree-ish like note I'm not enjoying as much. And so I decided to take this one out of my club. But because I wasn't enjoying this one as much and I wasn't getting as much blackberry as I would like, and I have noticed that I've really enjoyed blackberry fragrances, um, I decided to add in some blackberry. So I decided to add in a little bit of 
my scoopable from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is blackberry and lemon curd. And this is a very purple wax. This is blackberry and lemon curd. It is really good. I really, really like how it smells in, in the container. I had just used this new with this mix, so I haven't actually melted this one on its own. But I think that one's going to be really good. And so these two together were nice. And I'll probably do this combo again because I have two cubes left of this. So just to use up the rest. And so yes, I enjoyed that one. So then yesterday, uh, my Moana bar came in. And so I decided to pop that out in the warmer right away. Um, this is Moana Spirit of Motunui. Motunui. Yes, Motunui. <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm saying that right because I hear a lot of people saying Montanui and there's no N in there. So Motunui. <laughs> um, love that packaging. This is very watermelony. It's watermelon dominant but very fruity. I really, really like this. And it's a sweet watermelon. Went straight in the club. Is never coming out absolutely love this one so I'm so glad I got that one I had and I actually used six cubes I did do a three bar bundle so I did two of these Moana and then one of the Wally but I can tell you right now that the Wally fragrance smells like broccoli stock to me <laughs> or do you know the broccoli slaw um, you can buy like chopped up they call it broccoli slaw but it doesn't have like a dressing on it. It's just raw, chopped up broccoli stock. That's what the Wally bar smells like to me. So I'm not sure that I am going to be warming that in anywhere but a bathroom. And I don't think that it's going to be enjoyable. But I'll warm it and see if anything comes out. Um, but yes, on, on cold, it, it, it's not appealing to me. <laughs> But, you know, give it a go, right? So, last night in the master bath, I pulled out one of my Walter and Rosies. So, this is Curiouser and Curiouser. I can't remember what this one was based on. Um, but Walter and Rosie, it says, the happiest scents on earth. So, they do a lot of their fragrances based on inspiration from things, Disney things. So this is a fruity floral fragrance. I can't even remember what the scent notes are on this. But it's a fruity floral. I think this was Alice in Wonderland inspired. Um, but yes, this was for my first order from them. I do have a like referral link down in the description box below. So if you use my referral link and you make a purchase, you'll get a percentage off and I will get some points to uh, build up my rewards points with them so that I can get like a coupon. So like I said, I'll link that down in the description box below in case you want to check out some Disney inspired fragrances. But I'm really, really enjoying this one. Their wax is a bit on the softer side. So yes, it did uh, make a little bit of a mess right there when I was trying to pull it out of the clam. Um, but it's going really well in the master bath. I did two cubes in the Cinderella warmer And so I think that's definitely going to be one I repurchase which brings us to today and today we are doing Yankee candles juicy citrus and sea salt So I have a scent cup here This is a fragrance that we've had in our house um, in jar candle form This is a very sweet citrus with just a little bit of sea salt really really love this fragrance um, I cut the centerpiece cup into quarters and then I used a quarter and then I used the remnants of a the, the jar candle that we had um, because it was too close to the bottom to keep burning so I just popped it out of the container and then I popped it into the classic curve warmer and that's what's going today absolutely love this fragrance definitely a repurchase for us 
So that is everything that I've warmed in my house this week. As far as Scentsy News goes, the Scooby-Doo collection is coming out on Monday. Really excited for that one. Going back and forth on that warmer. Um, but I'm definitely going to pick up the fragrance, um, which is called Zoinks. <laughs> so that's so fun. And I'm going to put it in my club because I think I'm really going to enjoy it. One of the scent notes is Pink Pineapple. I don't remember what the other two fragrances are, but they are both fruit fragrances. And so I think I'm really going to enjoy that one. And so, yeah, other than that, there is a Disney vacation trip um, sweepstakes going on. So you can check out my website down below to enter for that as well. And that's pretty much everything I have for this week. So let me know down in the comments below what you warmed this week. Have you found a favorite mix that you enjoy? Or just leave me some mix recommendations. I'd love to try some of those out. Um, I am mostly fresh, fruity, and floral. I don't do bakery or woods or spice um, too often, but if you leave me some recommendations, I'll definitely try those out. If nothing else, you would just like to let me know that you are here. If you could leave me a seashell or sea creature emoji down in the comments below that would be greatly appreciated and would really help me out and that will do it for me today so i hope you're all doing great i hope you're all safe and healthy and until next time take care and smile always bye